Let's simplify the fraction nine fifths. And what we want to do, we want to find another fraction that's equal to nine over five, an equivalent fraction, but one that's reduced or simplified to its lowest terms. So when we do that, we're looking for a common factor, the greatest common factor. And that's something that goes into nine and five evenly. So when I look for a factor that'll go both into nine and five, the only factor is one. So I divide nine by one and get nine, divide five by one and get five, and I'm back where I started. I had nine fifths. So in answer to our question, the fraction nine fifths, it's already in lowest terms. We can't simplify this any further. We could convert it to a mixed number. Right now, it's an improper fraction. The numerator is larger than the denominator. So we divide five into nine, five goes into nine one time with four left over. We bring the five across nine fifths, this improper fraction, you could write it as one and four fifths. But in answer to our original question, nine fifths, we really can't simplify this any further. It's already in lowest terms. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.